Hi everyone, welcome back to Rodin Kitty. I'm here at Puerto Plata Airport in the Dominican Republic. This airport has been recently blessed with a custom model terminal with fixed ground nets, replacing the Derby warehouse to auto generate from OSM data we all know and love. Earlier this year, Fabrice Labelle, FLC 972 on the forum, made a custom scenery pack including all of this. Link in the description. Thanks, Fabrice! But that's not why I decided to feature this place, isn't it? Moving across the gates, you might notice that there's a bit of parallax behind the windows of this terminal. That's right, instead of using a texture, this mad lad went a step further and actually modeled the interior of the departures hall on the top floor. Signs and all. Like, holy cow, there's even a departures board, even if you probably can't see it from the apron. The escalators down to the bottom are fully modeled as well and go all the way down to the bottom floor. Down here, reality sets in and it's just an empty hall lit by fluorescent shop lights with an inaccessible apron as your only company. Someone should write an SCP based on this. Let's see if we can get into this building. Unfortunately, the objects do actually have collision, so barging in with the Bluebird, basically the UFO but with collision and therefore my favorite plane to play around with the scenery in, would just result in it teleporting to the top. I decided to try ramming the wall with the Cessna 1702P, another plane with a walker, a controllable human pilot, which might handle collision in a more favorable way, and... Oh. Oh. Well, that's not at all worth exposing the wing ribs, is it? Even if we can bring the walker out onto the terminal building, it still does have collision as evidenced by the fact that I can step onto the air gun ducts and that I haven't fallen to the ground yet. Walking into a cooling block either makes me step on it or hit the wall. I guess it's always the option of running towards the window and breaking through sheer momentum. Well, that's convenient. Anyway, as I was saying, the terminal is really nicely modeled inside. The shops are here too, although we're just textured cubes with nothing but void inside. Ignoring that aircraft tail fin in the place you would least expect one for a moment, we also have the entrance to the ATC tower and what if Fink is the toilet? Unsurprisingly, it's just void inside as well. The walker can actually go down the stairs, and not moving escalator, but got stuck trying to get off because his ceiling is too low. Fortunately, we can clip ourselves through the railings and the predicament is over. Again, not much to see down here. There isn't even a way out, so we're stuck on the air side forever. But not for a no-clip boy, of course, you can walk straight into the rest of the building, which is also nothing but void. Makes sense, you definitely won't see these areas from the apron. You can also go back up and stare at your plane trying to figure out how to get back to it, except there's a teleport back button silly, so let's use it and move on. There isn't much to say about the rest of the scenery. The airport car park, for example, doesn't look much like a car park, and the city of Puerto Plata itself doesn't have any modeled landmarks. That's Mount Isabel de Torres to our left, and you can't even see the cable car. Most cables in the distance are high voltage cables further away. This blob in the middle of the large city block is the Catedral, and the Fortaleza is, well, I guess we're simulating sea level rise too. The only object a human placed here, in the terracing scenery at least, is this radio tower. This is par for the course for flight gear scenery, and it really makes you appreciate the work that goes into making a place recognizable in flight simulators and, well, every video game for that matter. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for staying with me throughout this video of abusing a flight simulator as a really bad walking simulator, and I'll see you again next time. Have a nice flight!